Woohoo! Let's go! Hi, I'm Bree and I'm the Director of Curriculum at Codable. This short video is going to introduce you to the concept you'll be teaching in this unit. Thanks for watching! Variables store information or values in a program. There are different types of variables that are used in different situations. There are strings, integers, and arrays. We've learned now that strings are variables which hold values that are groups of characters, like a word or a phrase, while integers store values that are numbers, like 5, 50, or 500. An array is an ordered list of related variables that includes both strings and integers. Arrays group related variables together and keep code organized, which makes storing values more efficient. In real life, you can think of your closet as an array. You use your closet to organize your clothes and keep them in a specific order. The order you hang your clothes in organizes them in a defined way. Your shirts are going to stay where you hang them. Let's say on Sunday night you're planning your outfits for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. When you hang your green dress shirt on the far left spot in your closet for Monday, your blue shirt in the middle of the closet for Tuesday, and your favorite red shirt on the right in your closet for Wednesday, they will be where you hung them and organized in this way when you need them throughout the week. In programming, we can store related data in an array, grouping the related values together in a list. In the final part of each array's lesson, students will independently practice using an array to clear the asteroid field. In an asteroidia, arrays work just like they do in real programming. They're used to keep code clean and more efficient, so students will be able to use an array to get three moves with just one command. This will allow students to solve some of the lessons using just one move. In this lesson, the colors represent string variables. There are six different values used here, red, pink, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I need to correctly order my list of variables to be able to clear the asteroid field when I match the values. I see that I need to first clear red, pink, then yellow, and so on. I order the values in my array this way so that I can successfully clear the asteroid field by matching the values from my command bin with the values in the field. Let's think a little bit more about how arrays are actually used in programming. Think about Codable, for example. We have hundreds of thousands of students that use Codable to learn programming. When you have your students use a class code to log in, their names are actually stored in our program as an array. So anytime your students enter their class code, it brings up a list of names and allows them to select their name from their class list and log into their profile. All of these names are strings, like we've talked about, and they're stored in our database as an array, which keeps code organized and more efficient and allows your students to log in and find their names to get to their profiles faster. Programmers can use just one command to search all of the values stored in an array without needing to know what each variable may be. So now we know, arrays make storing and finding values more efficient. <laughs>